going to record a macro where we're going to get different pivot table views depending on the button that we're going to press. Now the trick to this is that the first step of the macro is to clear the pivot table and then the second step is to create the pivot table. So let's go and record our first macro and call it region by quarter and press OK. So the first step is go to the options tab, clear, clear all. The second step is to create the regions by quarter. So we'll grab the quarters, region, and then we'll grab the sales twice into the values area. Now from the drop down arrow, we choose value fuel settings, and then we put in here average and press OK. Finally, select everything, go to the home tab and just put in a comma and get rid of the decimal places. And then we can go to developer and stop recording. That's our first macro done. The second macro is gonna be called year to date sales by month. So press record and call it year to date sales by month and press OK. The first step once again, go to options, clear, clear all. The second step is to create the pivot table. Let's grab the years in the row labels, sales month as well, and drop in the sales twice into the values area. Now from the drop down arrow, value fuel settings, and show values as. And from the drop down box here, we're gonna show values as a running total in, and the base field will be sales month. And the custom name, we'll change it to year to date, and press OK. And then once again, click in here, go to the Home tab, and customize it a bit like this. Developer tab, stop recording. The third macro is gonna be called Top 10 Channels. Press OK. Options, clear all. Grab our regions and our channel partners on the left and our sales in our values area. And then from the channel partners, you can filter it by value filters and top 10, and then just press OK. And then finally, in the pivot table, we can just right click and sort largest to smallest, and go to the developer tab and stop recording. So we've done our three macros. Now all that's left to do is to insert the shapes and assign the macros to the shapes. So let's do this, insert shape in there, and we'll get one shape in there. Now let's choose the color of the shape, like this. Now hold down with your mouse key, and then press Control Shift, and drag down with your mouse, let go of the mouse key. And then while the Control Shift key is still being pressed, click the mouse, drag down, and then let go of the mouse key. So we've created three similar shapes. Now let's name them. Region by quarter sales and average, year-to-date sales by month, and then top 10 channels. Okay, now let's click in one here, press Control All, so we can format the shapes. And then in here we can just choose a color. I like color like this and press hold, and we can just make it a little bit bigger, like that. Okay, escape. So now let's assign the macros. Right click, assign macro, and in here we're gonna choose region by quarter. And then the second one is year to date sales. And the third one is the channel partners. Now all that's left is to Press the button, sit back, and enjoy the magic of the macros. So we have the region by quarter sales and average, the year to date sales by a month, and then the top 10 channels by region sorted from largest to smallest.